Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your Access Badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your Access Badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun! Even our auto-droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. Das hört sich alles sehr schön an. Grand Hotel Cygnus Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. Da sind wir nun also beim I see. Cygnus so, Hotel. What's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Hm. Ob das so einfach sein wird, werden wir gleich sehen. Ich glaube nämlich nicht. Das so sein wird. Where your access badge? Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Hey, there's a giant hmm. storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, uh, I'll take care of it. So, ich sehe jetzt, warte. Ähm. Ja, gut. Hm, so if I move this here. Ich bin ein bisschen verwirrt, muss ich sagen. Ich weiß nicht, wie wir das hier wegkriegen. Wenn das gar nicht weiter weggeht. Also wir haben noch eine zweite Kamera, aber die bringt uns bisher nichts. Ähm, ja.
Mach's irgendwie bloß schlimm. nicht. Und vor allem, wieso hat der ein grünes Licht und die anderen ein rotes Licht? doof dafür? Ich glaube, ich bin zu doof. <lacht> Wahrscheinlich wäre es mega einfach. Aber ich verstehe es nicht. Wieso das funktioniert, dass die hier, hier stehen bleiben? Es kommt genau das gleiche draus. So, okay, nee, warte, 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 warte. Kann man das doch weiter... Nee, man kann es ja nicht weiter reinfahren. Das weird ist. Weil theoretisch müssen wir links zwei abstellen, dann weiter rein nach rechts fahren. Hey, there's an empty cabinet in here. Trevor! So. Ja, wow, danke. Sag doch das mal ein. Ernsthaft. Ernsthaft. Kovacs, I was wondering. Wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. Das war jetzt ziemlich mies, weil es eben viel einfacher war als gedacht. Aber gut. Wir müssen da hoch. Dass der, dass der das schafft. Ich würde ihn nicht so einschätzen, dass er solche Sprünge schaffen würde. Aber er soll athletisch, als er, als, als er aussieht. Weiter geht's. Zwar in die 
andere Richtung wieder. Um, Kovax? Ja? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Hm. Und wir könnten nur Num Nummer 7 sein, die es rausschafft. Mal schauen, ob uns das gelingen wird. Aber dank der Hilfe von... Äh, wie heißt die nochmal? Sollte uns das sicherlich gelingen. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Oh. Thank you, everybody. You're being a terrific audience. We're the swans. Das kann jetzt lustig werden. So. Knapp. Okay, wait. Du willst mir jetzt nicht sagen, der schafft diesen Sprung. Nee, das schafft er nicht. Muss ich hier runter? Möglich, ne? No! Ah, okay. Hätte man die Flügel hochstutzen müssen? Sorry, dass wir das jetzt hier tausendmal machen müssen, wieder. Übersehe ich irgendwas? Es gibt bloß eine Cam. Ja gut.
Wir haben es gleich, keine Angst. Hoffentlich. Diesen Sprung schafft er einfach nicht. No, ich will nicht da. Ich wollte auf die andere. Ich wollte nur Anlauf holen. Ja, nice. Ich bin nicht so schlecht. So also klar ist, wir müssen oben nach oben rechts. Das, das sehe ich. Aber wie kommen wir da hin? Offensichtlich müssen wir da runter, um dann nach rechts zu gehen. Aber diesen Sprung hier schafft er ja nicht. Never. So das gehen. Hm. können nach oben und unten fahren, das ist mir gerade gar nicht aufgefallen. Aber das ist auch zu weit. Hey. Ich glaube, ich denke schon wieder zu weit, kann das sein? Okay, vielleicht habe ich es gerade gesehen. Müssen wir von da drüben nach da... Oh, wow. Okay. Ich habe zu weit gedacht. Wieder mal. So ist natürlich sehr einfach. Oha. Ist das schockt? Just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back. But the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I had been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Trevor, honestly, but it's the only way. Okay, die Wäscherei. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. How how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so. The ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. Listen. When you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that, well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. <lacht> 